Tonight, an FDA advisory panel is recommending Pfizer COVID-19 booster shots only for people 65 and older or people at high risk for severe illness. This after a vote calling for booster shots for everyone 16 and up, it failed by a wide margin. Latasha Givens following the breaking news for us and Latasha, the advisors said it came down to questions about the data Pfizer is offering on all of this vaccine. That's right, Jeff. The panel voted overwhelmingly in favor of the booster shots for the older age group and those at high risk. Now, some committee members saying Pfizer has not offered data to support this on a larger scale for the general public. Today's meeting only focused on the Pfizer vaccine since there's different data for each of the three approved vaccines. The discussion started with whether Pfizer booster shot would be safe for everyone 16 and older. But one advisor stated they haven't been offered clear evidence whether a booster would give a younger person extra protection. The committee also raised questions about the risk of myocarditis, a rare side effect that has been seen primarily in males younger than 30. So members decided to focus on who could benefit most from a booster dose. From there, they narrowed it down to a recommendation only for those 65 and older or at high risk for severe illness. After the second vote, committee members stated they wanted to take it a step further to also include people who are at high risk of exposure because of of their jobs. What we will be taking that to mean at FDA is healthcare workers, frontline workers uh, such as teachers, um, and potentially essential infrastructure workers as well. The panel's recommendation will go on to the FDA, which isn't required to follow the committee's vote, but it usually does. From there, it must also go before a group of CDC advisors next week.